guys welcome back to my channel this is Rose J creates and I am Rose and thank you for stopping by thank you for showing your support as always I look forward to producing and kind of uploading more videos so you guys can kind of show support if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you're not um, leaving any comments make sure you leave those comments leave a thumbs up as well uh, make sure you hit that notification bell that way I'm notified every time a video is uploaded or, I'm sorry, that way you're notified every time a video is uploaded. I'm the one that's uploading the video. Ha <laughs> um, Anyways, it's nice to have you guys supporting me throughout these weeks and months. I really appreciate all the support. Make sure if you are watching videos and an ad pops up, please let those ads run. That's how I kind of make money off of the ads. Uh, I am Since I am being monetized now, um, it just kind of helps me with income, um, being laid off work. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about being laid off work, but... I am laid off work, and so I use YouTube as another source of income. So again, guys, thank you so much for showing your support. Um, and as always, check me out on Instagram, um, Rose J Creates. And then I also have an Etsy channel as well, Rose J Creates. I have a few uh, items on there, about 10 items, and so they are for sale. So please reach out, show your support, you know, whatever way you can. And again, guys, thank you for tuning in to Rose J Creates. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, these are the dry flowers that I am going to be using. I'm going to be using some of these. And I've also decided to mix some artificial flowers with this. I like uh, the pop-up color the artificial flowers have. Uh, but this is the mold I am going to be using. This is my love mold. I got this online. I am doing Valentine's Day projects for the month of February. And I wanted to make a project for my daughter. And so um, I saw this, and I thought this would be really, really neat. And so all I'm going to do is just add a thin layer of resin to the bottom of my mold. Um, I really like this mold. I can't wait until it gets unmolded. But um, as I'm doing, I'm just adding a thin layer. And the reason I'm adding a thin layer is because I want to add flowers to the bottom. And so when you're looking at this, you're looking at it upside down. So when I unmold it, the flowers that are going to be on the bottom will actually be on top. It'll be the first thing you'll see. And I kind of want it to go with some unified colors. So I kind of chose pinks and purples and burgundies and then I added some green leaves um, for a little pop of color and you know a few white leaves here and there. I love my dried flowers. I use them for all sorts of projects for my keychains, my coasters, um, my little uh, glass jars that I've gotten, my candle holders. Um, so they come in handy for all sorts of resin projects. So all I'm going to do is just add my resin, I mean my flowers to the bottom of my mold. Um, I like these pink ones. It's really, really pretty. And I'm just sort of playing around with, you know, um, the placement of them. I'm not really sure where I want to place them, so I'm just kind of visualizing what it'll look like upside down when I, you know, sort of unmold it. And all I'm doing right now is just, you know, placing my flowers throughout. I'm going to put a layer of pink, and I want each letter to have the same flowers so that way you'll see a variety of different colors i'm just going to continue to do this and guys make sure you thumbs in up this uh video um hope you like the video please leave comments as always and if you're not a member please um i would love to have you as a member and um, i'm also offering memberships on my channel so please check out my channel to see what the membership levels are really great prizes so what i'm going to do is just continue to add my flowers
Okay, now that I have my um, flowers uh, set inside of my resin and I've already added my gold leaf, uh, now I am going to install my furry lights. Um, and you can get these furry lights anywhere. You can get them from Amazon, which is where I got these from. And they come in a set. Um, and so all I'm going to do is just kind of unravel this. Um, trying to figure out how I want to place it in here. And I'm just going to slowly just kind of follow the mold and make sure I kind of uh, go around every corner so the lights, when it lights up, um, you see all the flowers lit, lit up under the lights. And so what I'm going to do is just try to fit around with this. It's really, really messy. Um, this is my first time doing this project. I'm making this for my daughter for Valentine's Day. And all I'm going to do is just keep trying to kind of get this to go around. And I'm going to add more flowers on the top so the lights will stay down in there. I think the next time I do this, I'm going to let this set up a little bit longer. Um, because it's really thin right now. If I let it set up for a couple hours, and then once I place the fairy lights in there, it'll set. So all I'm going to do is just kind of play around with this and just try to get it to sit down in there. Okay, so I finally got the lights to sit down in there, and I've added more flowers on top. It's still really wet. It hasn't set up yet. It hasn't been quite 24 hours. I just kind of wanted you to see what it looks like from the back side. Okay guys, it's been about 24 hours and this is what it looks like. Um, I still have some flowers because you know, I was adding more flowers to it as it was setting up to hide the fairy lights. And some of them are kind of poking out the back, but it's okay. You won't see the back. I thought about sanding this down, but I'm just going to leave it natural. And all I'm going to do is just try to unmold this and make sure that I'm not ripping my silicone mold because it's very fragile. But it looks pretty so far. What do you guys think? I like how this looks. And again, guys, if you try this project um, and you want to install fairy lights in your resin, um, don't do what I do. Let it set up for a couple hours. Let it thicken and then add the fairy lights. They'll sit down in there a lot better. Oh, this is looking nice. I like this. Oh, it looks nice. You see all the flowers? Oh, I love this. I'm going to make this for my daughter. Now I'm going to light it up. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, wow. So I see that everything did not light up. Uh, when I first tested the fairy lights, all of them did work. And this is what it looks like without the lights. So, oh, wow. This is very, very pretty. I hope you guys try this project. I really want you guys to try this project. Let me know what you guys think. Please thumbs up the channel. Um, leave comments as always and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that notification That way you'll be notified when I upload more photos and more videos guys. Thank you for tuning in to my channel um, This is Rose Day Creates and I hope you guys really like this video. This is very very pretty